Hey everyone, it's Glenn from Fat Glenn's Fish. I'm going to do a quick video today just showing you the results of a hard day's work in my fish shed. I've been scrubbing tanks, changing water and moving fish around and I've got some tanks that are looking pretty schmick. So we're just going to do a, a quick overview of what I've done and, and where things are at. Hope you enjoy. So the row I've been working on today is my 200 litre grow out tanks. Um, in, my, in my system, this is row number D1 in my fish shed. I'll just take you for a quick walk down and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll go into a bit of detail what the fish are and what's happening with them. So even though I just said these are grow out tanks in uh, in in the busy fish room, each tank becomes very important and with my individual filtration, I've got all sorts of things going on on, on a needs basis. These tanks are all doing different things today. So tank number one, I'm helping my good mate Steve, the cichlid guy out with a bit of housing of some fish that he's had to move while he's doing some building and and set up of his new facility. These Madoka white lips are just looking fantastic at around 10, 12 centimetres, getting very close to breeding. That little frontosa, believe it or not, I stripped yesterday when I did all this work and was amazed to find three or four eggs in the mouth of a fish seven centimetres. The Maberna we're looking at is the Labio Trophaeus Chalumba Reds, which are looking spectacular in the right light here too. Tank number two, these are also Steve's fish. We're looking at a group of Placidochromus Electra Fort Maguire, which are the, the deep, uh, the blackface Electra. And we've got some juvenile and um, breeding Labidochromus chismulae mabuecas, once again just housing these temporarily. Um, Electra is very feisty and I've dumped the 10 or so little frontosa in here to dither it up a bit but you can see he's still still pretty keen and you know this might bear some breeding fruit pretty quickly too I think. traditionally for purpose design. This is a couple of uh, batches of, of fry that are around the three, two and a half, three centimetre mark that just need that little kick in the guts to get them up to saleable size. These fish have been distributed in some of my smaller grow out tanks sort of on a mouthful by mouthful basis. The little Zebra obliquidans are from a decent sort of bloodline and I really want to get these up and, and saleable ASAP. Likewise the Iceberg Electric Blues are, are fish that I've bred and I'm keen to grow these on fast to get myself a new male. Tank number four is housing one species other than a probably a clean bristlenose somewhere. This is uh, about four different spawns of this Victorian cichlid, the Haplochromus species 35 tomato. Down here in Australia we unfortunately don't have the variety of, of Victorians that, that I'm seeing in some of the videos that I'm watching over the US and beyond our shores. Um, this, this one though is one that I'm pretty proud of. Uh, I'll do a video one day of the, the parents. Anyway, this is uh, this is a tank full of maybe 130 odd fish in here, a couple of different sizes, and once again we're just trying to accelerate these on to get them up to that four 
four and a half centimetres and out the door and into other people's tanks. Tank number five is not my ideal scenario. It's it's kind of a dumping ground for some larger display fish, um, which are great to have, but it's always a bit of a ticking time bomb when you're trying to keep nice fish from tearing each other to bits. We're, we're looking at some more of the, the nice frontoses that I've got throughout the room. Those guys there at about 10, that dragon blood that wants to get in the way is 13, 14 centimetre fish. And here are some of the, the nice spangles that you might have seen in one of my other videos few months ago. There's a couple of stray living stony there. Um, this is, it's just a tank full of odds and ends that are, we're trying to sell via the, um, the Cichlid Guys website. Go to www.thecichlidguy.com if you're in um, Tassie or mainland Australia to potentially access some of these fish. Nice fish just waiting for a home. And on to the last tank, number six on the top row. Um, here we have a, a nice clump of the Burundi Frontoses. These are the standard six bar in the trade, um, but I'm I'm really, really proud with this line of fish. They're, they're, um, the colour and the fins is amazing for what is a, essentially the um, bottom line of frontoses in Australia, the, the, the most common variant that you'll, you'll see, um, not the, not the high-end variant, but very, very nice, clean little fish, these guys. Now we're looking at some Alonocranus dewinti, which is a pit-building, mouth-brooding Tanganyikan cichlid. There's there's about 10 of these and this, this tank is all just grow out so the the winter year at five to six centimeters they're ready to ready to be sold and you know the top 10 or 12 fronties out of that 50 odd are, are certainly sale with a good four centimeters just just a tank for growing out and and some nice clean fish to boot so that's, uh, that's the end of my little spiel today with, with the review of essentially cleaning one row of tanks in my shed. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.